The farmer finds that if she plants 95 trees per acre, each tree will yield 55 bushels of fruit. She estimates that for each additional tree planted per acre, the yield of each tree will decrease by three bushels. How many trees should she plant per acre to maximize her harvest? So the first thing to recognize here is that the total harvest per acre is going to be equal to the number of trees per acre times the yield per tree, which would be the number of bushels per tree. So let's let x be equal to the number of additional trees planted per acre, and we'll let h be the total harvest per acre. So we'd have the equation h equals, now we need an expression for the total number of trees per acre, which would be 95 plus any additional trees planted. So the expression would be 95 plus x. So again, this is the expression for the total number of trees per acre. This is actually what we're trying to find to answer the question. But then we need to multiply this by the yield per tree, which is the number of bushels per tree, to give us the total harvest per acre. Well, we know if 95 trees are planted, the yield is 55 bushels. So the expression for the yield per tree will be 55 and then minus 3x, because for each additional tree, the yield for each tree will decrease by three bushels. So every x added here, it's going to subtract three bushels per tree here. So again, this is the yield per tree, or bushels per tree. Now let's go ahead and clear these parentheses by multiplying. And we know we'll have four products. We distribute 95, and then we distribute x. So we'll have h, the total harvest per acre, is equal to 95 times 55 is equal to 5,225. 95 times negative 3x would give us minus 285x. x times 55, so plus 55x. x times negative 3x, so we have minus 3x squared. Let's go ahead and write these terms in descending order and combine like terms. So we'd have the equation h equals negative 3x squared. And then combining like terms here, we'd have negative 230x and then plus 5,225. So notice how we have a quadratic equation or a quadratic function. Because the coefficient of x squared is negative, we should recognize that if we graph this function, we'd have a parabola that opens down that looks something like this. So if we're trying to determine how many trees should be planted per acre to maximize the harvest, we need to determine this high point on the graph, which is called the vertex of the parabola. If you look at the actual graph of our function, it would look like this. Again, we're trying to find this high point, which is the vertex, where the x-coordinate would be the number of additional trees, and the y-coordinate, or in our case, the h-coordinate, would be the total harvest per acre. When we have a quadratic function or equation in general form of this form here, we can use this formula to find the vertex, where the x-coordinate equals negative b divided by 2a, and the y-coordinate or function value is f of negative b divided by 2a, which means to find the function value or a y-coordinate, we substitute the x-coordinate of negative b divided by 2a into the original function for the input variable. So going back to our equation, notice that a is equal to negative 3, b is equal to negative 230, and c, which we don't need, is equal to 5,225. So the x-coordinate of the vertex, again, is equal to negative b divided by 2a, which would be negative negative 230 divided by 2 times negative 3, which would be positive 230 divided by negative 6. And now let's go to the calculator to approximate this quotient. And because x is the number of additional trees, we'll round to the nearest integer value. So we have 230 divided by negative 6. So the nearest integer would be negative 38. So notice how the x-coordinate is negative 38 which tells us that the farmer should plant less than 95 trees, because remember, 95 plus x gives us the number of trees planted per acre. 
So 95 plus x is equal to 95 plus negative 38, which equals 57. Which means the farmer should plant 57 trees per acre to maximize the harvest. If we go back to our graph just for a moment, we use the formula x equals negative b divided by 2a to find the x-coordinate of the vertex, which gave us x equals negative 38. But remember, 95 plus x gave us a total number of trees planted per acre, so we'd be careful about that. And then the y-coordinate, or in our case, the h-coordinate, would give us the total harvest per acre. We weren't asked to find the total harvest, but let's go ahead and find it anyway by substituting negative 38 into our equation here and here. And we'll do this on the calculator. So we'll have in parentheses 95 plus negative 38 and then times 55 minus 3 times negative 38 and enter. So the total harvest per acre would be 9,633 bushels of fruit. So going back to the graph one last time, this is the h-coordinate or y-coordinate of the vertex. So the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola are negative 38 comma 9,633. Just be careful, our answer is not negative 38 because the question is, how many trees should be planted per acre, which is equal to the expression 95 plus x when x equals negative 38, which is how we came up with the 57 trees per acre. I hope you found this helpful.